Hello, we're the Hero with Orchestra, and today, for our first, I will play, be playing African Marching Song by John O'Reilly.
<laughs> and today we will be doing a duet called Scarborough Fear. My name is Ted Winchester, and I will be reading The Cookie Thief by Valerie Cox. A woman was waiting in the airport one night with several long hours before her flight. She hunted for a book in the airport shop, bought a bag of cookies, and found a place to drop. She was eating her cookies, they happened to see that the man beside her, as bold as could be, grabbed a cookie or two from the bag between, which she tried to ignore to avoid a scene. She munched her, she was mu she munched cookies and watched the clock as the gutsy cookie thief diminished her stock. She was getting more irritated as the minutes ticked by, thinking, if I wasn't so nice, I'd blacken his eye. With each cookie she took, he took one too. And only one was left, she wondered what he'd do. With a smile on his face and a nervous laugh, he took the last cookie and broke it in half. He offered her half and he ate the other. She snatched it from him and thought, oh brother, this guy has some nerve. And he's also so rude. Why, he didn't even show any gratitude. And she had never known when she had been so gone, and sighed with relief when her flight was called. She gathered her belongings and headed for the gate, refusing to look at the pavement in grey. She boarded the plane and sank in her seat, then sought out her book, which was almost complete. As she reached in her baggage, she gasped with surprise. There were her bag of cookies in front of her eyes. <laughs> if mine are here, she moaned with despair. Then the others were his, and he tried to share. Too late to apologize, she realized with grief she was the rude one, the ingrate, the thief. <laughs> Thank you. 
Charlie Martin and today I'll be performing a poem called Belinda the Cow by Gloria Rawlinson. Belinda the Cow was exceedingly vain. She <coughs> hated the sun and was timid of rain. I'm sure I get freckled in this sunny place and I'm certain that rain is not good for the face. This said poor Belinda when sent to a farm where affairs and her fancies had caused much alarm. I could not eat turnips. I would not eat peas. Pass me a plate full of buttercups, please. From these few remarks, I think you'll agree that a fatty and finicky creature was she. Then one day, while drinking, she said, I must go and enter this face in the cow beauty show. But when Belinda got there, she was late. Your luck is all out, said the man at the gate. Then he felt sorry. His eyes opened wide, but Belinda the cow just sat down and cried. He gave her two shillings and told her to get a small looking glass and a manicure set. If you see her parading in paddocks, please bow to Belinda, the beautiful, wonderful cow. <laughs>
Kristen Clark, and I'm going to be playing Burleys on the piano. I'm Charlie Marshall, and today I'll be performing a poem called How to Avoid Kissing Your Parents in Public by Lindsay Gray. Number one, run for it at the first sign of a parent puckery. Number two, smile, look as if you don't mind, then say you feel really sick. Number three, whirl around very fast and go mwah, mwah, so that they think they've got you, when in fact they've missed. Number four, duck, so the kiss lands just above your head. Number five, tell them to put it in your pocket before you get to school, so that you can save it for later when nobody's looking. Number six, never clean your teeth, and they won't want to. Or, number seven, demand garlic with every meal, and they won't want to either. Number eight, say you're doing a sponsored no kissing competition, and donate ten pence for every missed kiss. No, this could prove to be very expensive. Number nine, turn into a frog. I know what to this if your mum doesn't believe in fairy tales. Number ten, if all else fails, cling to their legs and beg them to give you a million sloppy kisses. They'll be so worried that they'll either take you to the doctor or never kiss you in public again. <laughs>
again announced by Aaron Cockburn.
my name is Claire. I'm Jack. And today we're going to be performing uh, Do Along from Virtuous Mindful by Dario Fo.
Hamilton, and today we'll be performing an extract from Blood Brothers by Willie Russell. Today. Our first one will be I, your 
kids are out on you, composed by Dr. Rose Petty. And our second one will be Christmas Carol called Te Hard Noi. And for the first song, we have Amelia Ogle leading us in the actions. Accompanied by Dr. Cooper, Money Ward, and Noel Carl.
hope this works. I know Jack will. How you doing, buddy?
Hello everybody. We're the Heroes of Rock Band and today we're going to be doing two songs. The first song is I Can't Get No Satisfaction by the Rolling Stones. Yeah. 
dream.